Hi, welcome to DevNet Create. AppDynamics is not just for software anymore. I'm Kelly Jones. I'm a systems architect with Cisco Systems. I work for the U.S. Navy Shipboard Team as part of the U.S. US public sector team. And I am uh, Jeff Comer, Data Center Technical Solutions Architect, uh, also public sector, working with the Navy and uh, all things data center. So as we started out with, we said AppDynamics is not just for software anymore. So the typical use case for AppDynamics is to monitor your applications and the response time of different calls within your applications. We had a unique problem in our environment that isn't uncommon in a data center. How do you tell when you're, there's bad or degraded fiber? How do you have that into a dashboard without having to have multiple tools to look at your infrastructure? So what we started doing was looking into the capabilities of AppDynamics to see if we could pull in some of our hardware information with custom metrics, which we'll go into a little bit later. So our, essentially our problem was that we had failed or degraded fiber and no way of seeing it. So we looked into the um, AppDynamics custom metrics and we found that we could create baselines to detect anomalies in fiber optic cables and also our other hardware statuses and we could keep that trending data for up to one year. So we're going to kind of walk you through how we got there and some of the things we put in place to do that. So we're going to just shift over to our demo right now. So what we're showing here is the end result of our, our backend efforts, which we'll go into the code a little bit more in detail. So using AppDynamics, we created calls to our various hardware. What we're looking at here right now is an ACI switch. And these are the individual ports on the ACI switch. And what we're looking at here is the fiber health. So from there, what we can do is step over and look at the individual ports. We can look at the data from this, the dials, and when something goes red, we can click on it and come over here to the AppDynamics menu, and we can see whether that fiber is degrading or whether it has failed altogether. And this may, may seem like an insignificant thing, but oftentimes with fiber, it goes bad before, and it causes degradation, it causes packet loss, it causes application failures before it actually goes down. So this is giving us a trending data right within our application monitoring environment so we can look at hardware in addition to the software environment. So Jeff is going to talk a little bit about the actual code behind this right now. Um, as Kelly mentioned, we have an interesting and unique use case for monitoring hardware, whereas AppDynamics has typically been about applications. We have remote users, often with little to, to no training, and need uh, information uh, in, in the sense of a dashboard of what you've seen so far around the hardware. So we're going to gather some metrics. We're going to dive a little bit into the code, not too terribly deep. So. Uh, so bear with me here for just a moment. So on AppDynamics, we're, we're actually going to utilize machine agents to gather data. Um, so we're looking at a directory here on an AppDynamics metric collector that has a, a number of different things. So what we're looking at uh, specifically, I think Kelly had already talked a little bit about some, some DOM, digital optical monitoring uh, and ACI, but there's also SIMC, there's ISR metrics, um, NXOS, uh, et cetera. So we'll just grab a couple of quick examples and walk through them very quickly. Uh, for SimC is probably the uh, quickest and the easiest. This is a, uh, it, it's a power tool script, right? So everything in this particular environment that we're working with is actually standalone UCS. It's Hyperflex Edge with a number of standalone uh, UCS servers as well. This can be done uh, via UCS Manager. Uh, they're they're going to use different uh, API calls and, and different power tool commandlets to do the same thing, but ultimately the same amount of data. So, And I'll just interject there. So in case there's a question as to why we wouldn't go that route when it's already designed, as we said, what we wanted for our environment it, where we have a lot of people who are not trained and you have a small skill set managing multiple different, different pieces of equipment, we wanted to create a single tool where they could see the visibility of the hardware across platforms. So this isn't just UCS, it isn't just ACI, and it isn't just security. So we wanted to have some way of bringing all of this together under one location. And we found that AppDynamics was our tool. Like I said, we started with a fiber, but it's become a way of monitoring hardware across our Cisco platform. And, and it can be used for third party. Absolutely, good point, thank you. So uh, a quick look at one of the uh, PowerShell scripts for uh, this. This happens to be for uh, the SIMC stuff on UCS. So one of the first things that we are going to do is obviously we're going to need a config file. So uh, let's just take a quick look at what that is. Um, it is essentially just a, a bunch of JSON data, right? So here's 
a list of IP addresses, uh, credentials, which I've changed, uh, and, and so forth. And then we're going to have things like uh, schemas that we're going to call um, that are going to basically, I'll show you one so it will make more sense, a schema. It's, it's a, a JSON object, basically, of what type of data we can get. So this one happens to be the SIMC chassis schema. So we're going to be getting things like serial numbers, uh, indicator LED, uh, status, whether that's on or off, power state, manufacturer, uh, etc. So um, that is essentially the front end of what is going to happen. And then we're going to call these schemas in to the PowerShell script itself. And then the meat of what is actually going to happen is down here at the bottom. So we are going to take these schemas, uh, reach out to the SIMC servers, log into them, gather the data, uh, bring that back into App Dynamics, and then Kelly showed you a dashboard, and we'll show show that to you again where all of that uh, data is presented uh, as to uh, power state. How are the power supplies doing? Are the CPUs good? Do we have dim failures, uh, etc. So. Um, Another quick example here, since we've talked a little bit about ACI, we're going to do the same sort of concept in ACI. We're going to use uh, PowerShell to do the same thing. We're going to read a config JSON file. Here it is. So here's some APIC. Uh, here, here's an APIC address, username and a password, the analytics server. Uh, we're going to have tokens to log into it and so forth. So we're going to be able to grab the same sort of data from the APIC itself. Um, I'm not going to go too terribly far into the next piece. Uh, it is a little more complex. Uh, this is where the DOM, uh, Digital Optical Monitoring, comes in. And this is going to be Python, uh, not PowerShell. We're going to, we're going to rely on uh, native API calls to do this. So uh, on the dashboard, you'll see things like get transmit power state. It's a function called in Python. We're basically going to uh, look at an API endpoint and gather data on a per port basis bring that back into the tool uh, for analysis and app dynamics, and then we can present that via a dashboard and so forth. So you can see uh, here's transmit power stats, uh, receive power stats, et cetera. So it's going to work its way through uh, all of the ports and all of the st statistics for uh, digital optical monitoring. So, um, Kelly? So this brings us back to where we started. With all the code put in place, we're able to put it into a dashboard where we can mo monitor multiple devices. So we were looking earlier at the port receive status. We're also able to look at the current status. We're able to look at um, we're able to look at the actual power. We're able to look at fan speed. We're able to monitor the entire hardware state of the switch itself, in addition to the fiber, which was our original goal. So here we're looking at ACI switches. We've also been able to do this with hyperflexes. We can look at our hyperflex. This is all through App Dynamics. And we're able to look at the fan speeds. We're able to look at temperatures. We're able to monitor all of this from a single location just by using the custom metrics within, within App Dynamics. And if you want to learn more about this, you can actually go out to the App Dynamics Exchange. There's some custom metrics already out there, which is what led us there. There was a custom metrics on UCS extensions that we started with, and we evolved from there. This is developed by the App Dynamics community as well as, as users of App Dynamics, and there's a lot of good stuff you can find out there. You can also go to the App Dynamics website itself and find out more information on building a monitoring extension using scripts. And it steps you through the process of how we did it and how you can create your own custom extensions. In addition, the code that we've written will also be available in, in local communities as well. And that's it. If you want to learn more, here's some more li some links to find out the information that we talked about and some links to some of the hubs that are out there for getting the code. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.